Now, 40 students have been granted scholarship to study medicine in Cuba. $385,000 will be spent on each student for the seven-year stay. The beneficial students are drawn from the Zunga communities across the country. The Deputy Minister of Education, Dr. Yawaduchum, is confident their return will help improve the country's health sector. As the nation turns its focus to these places, to the deprived communities, to the Zongos, to the inner city, that we are tapping into the 100% of our national talent and the talent that God has endowed this nation with. The Registrar of the Scholarship Secretariat, Kinsley Ajimai, thanked the Vice President for spearheading the negotiations with the Cuban government. Your stipend will be paid through the courtesy of the Honorable Finance Minister and of course, by extension, the, the, the leader or the head of the economic management team, which again is your second son. A Minister of State in the office of the Vice President, who also represented the Vice President, Abu Bakar Boniface Sidik, asked the Chief Imam for his blessings on the students. Criminates. And that is why, having done this, we decided to bring the whole students before His Excellency, His Eminence, to invoke his spiritual powers on the Ghanaian children who sooner or later will be embarking to go to Cuba. A representative in the office of the chief imam, al Haj Gadu, expressed confidence the beneficiaries after their training would contribute towards the development of their communities. As we all know, you go to the Nimas, the Zongos, you see our people and you realize that there is a lot that those of us who are lucky to be educated and to be placed in important positions in the country, there are a lot that you can see. The National Chief Imam, Dr. Sheikh Nuhu Shaributu, sought God's blessings for the students. Uh -huh.